It was Thursday, October 14, 2017. A strange cosmic object was flying past our planet, and no one had the slightest clue. An interstellar object was leaving the solar system five days later. When Robert Warwick, an astronomer at the University of Hawaii in Mano, discovered it using the Fast Response System stars and the Panoramic Survey Telescope, it was an odd object with an odd orbit, an odd speed and odd features from the minute it was discovered. The unusual object, known as Umamya, was the first known extraterrestrial visitor to the solar system. But here is the thing astronomers had only 11 days to observe the odd visitor as it was cruising out incredibly fast. Three times the speed at which the Earth orbits the Sun, and then it appeared too small and too dim to be detected. It left the solar system faster than it had entered never to return again. When it gets truly intriguing, that's when. As we followed Oumuamua, we anticipated perhaps naively, it would go in a hyperbolic orbit as if there were no other forces at work on it save gravity. What have we found? However, was that normal? The observed data did not quite fit a completely hyperbolic orbit. It was as though there was an additional acceleration as though something unobserved was pushing it. In addition to the effects of gravity, traveling through space at a speed of 90,000 ken slash, it is assumed that the object came from Vega's direction. A star from another planet 237 trillion kilometers away. By the time it was discovered, it had an extended cigar shape. It had already sipped by our own sun, who performed a slick hairpin turn and begun hurtling off in another direction. Scientists was particularly fixated on two things. The first was its mysterious acceleration away from the sun, which was hard to reconcile with many ideas about what it might have been made of. The second was its peculiar shape. Some estimates its length was 10 times greater than its width. Before Amuamua, the most elongated known space objects were three times longer than they were wide. Scientific journals and news headlines from around the world were filled with conjecture in the years that followed. Was it a block of solid hydrogen? Could it have been a Debris? Or was it, as the esteemed Harvard astronomer A.V. Loeb suggested, a man-made structure created by an advanced extraterrestrial civilization? Whatever it is, one thing is certain. It confounded everyone and violated the laws of physics. After reaching its closest point to the sun about 95,000 kilometers per second, or at a very high speed in relation to our own sun, the object started leaving the solar system more than enough to ensure it would escape our star's gravity. However, although traveling at such a high rate of speed, it progressed smoothly and steadily, totally contrary to what is expected from a rough and irregular comet during the outcasting of its ices. The odds of such behavior from a, a naturally occurring comet is highly unlikely. Previous until October 7, 2017, it was traveling in an erratic direction toward the Pegasus constellation, there was no way to follow and take pictures of Oumuamua at that point with the technology available. Therefore, the information at hand is the last we will ever have. But all of its weird attributes could have one perfect explanation. Oumuamua could be an extraterrestrial spacecraft with a small sail. According to a recent study, an artificial origin would explain things fairly satisfactorily. The many weird characteristics of the cosmic visitor. Scientists initially regarded the object as common, but they reclassified it as an asteroid, after observations were unable in locating a story or foggy coma. But once more, a group of scientists classified Oumuamua as a comet, after noticing that it displays non-gravitational acceleration. That brings us to the study of which Lowe conducted with lead author Samuel Byerly, a postdoctoral fellow at the ITC Byerly and Lowe. Don't think the comet explanation holds up because astronomers still haven't I spotted a tail or coma around Oumuamua. Another natural explanation is possible. He added, if Oumuamua is a, just a fragment of a larger object, that the observed motion could be from the kick that knocked that fragment loose. However, such a kick would only occur once. Oumuamua, however, has consistently displayed non-gravitational acceleration. Bliley and Loeb then proposed a new hypothesis suggesting that sunlight might be to blame. In the new study, the duo determined that solar radiation pressure could cause the observed non-gravitational movement. The Oumuamua only has a thickness of 0.3 to 0.9 millimeters. What kind of structure could be gossamer thin? Bailey and Loeb suggested one candidate, a light sail, which is designed to harness the momentum of photons as a propulsive force. In space, humanity has previously proved this capability. 
In 2010, the Japanese Icarus probe arrived safely in Venus's vicinity. A light sail Umyonya could certainly survive a lengthy interstellar journey, according to additional calculations by Bayerly and Loeb. The amount of gas and dust in the interstellar medium and the speeds at which the object would come into contact with these deep space objects are both significant. Umyonya might travel at least 16000 light years from its home system, according to the researchers. Its provenance, or whatever that might be as Umyonya, is still a mystery. This is good news for CT Loeb, referring to the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. This is not speculation, he added. It's evidence-based. We have an anomaly in the data. The anomaly is that the orbit deviates from a Keplerian orbit deviates from what gravity alone would do, and the viable explanations for that that do not exist, other than the one that we are proposing. To be clear, Bailey and Lobard are claiming in. This study shows that Oumuamua is definitely an alien spacecraft, but they do believe there is a chance of this happening. The object could be a piece of alien art. An abandoned sail ship named Space Junk has unintentionally arrived at our location, or it may be an active reconnaissance craft. He is sent to check out our solar system, the researchers wrote in the study. There are arguments in support of the latter explanation. For one thing, Humuamua's finding itself was a bit of an abnormality, according to Loeb. Our own solar system doesn't shed so many umuamua like objects, he added. The motion of Umuamua is also about coincident with the local standard of rest, which is the average velocity of matter in our region of the Milky Way galaxy. In fact, that is the reason it has been so difficult to identify the object's system of origin. If I made a device whose identify I wanted to keep secret, I would rate at the regional minimum level of rest. According to Loeb, astronomers have made use of the Allen Telescope Array in Northern California and the Green Bank Telescope in West Virginia. Should keep an eye out for any potential Oumuamua pings. The object has not spoken thus far, but whatever it is, the discovery is incredibly fascinating. A weird visitor from a distant star system that is unlike anything we have ever seen in the vicinity of our own solar system. We can only hope that we see another Umuamua soon. Do you know what Umuamua is? Please leave a comment to let us know. Remember to subscribe to Space Curiosity as well, because we shall investigate together.